based on how we think this is going to go down, the Cowboys are tied for the easiest schedule in the NFL this upcoming year with Washington. But there are a several stretches of games where you look at and you say, okay, what could be a set of games that could possibly trip up the Cowboys when you look at what they're dealing with? And honestly, it really starts at the beginning of the season. When you look at the Cowboys, the toughest stretch, as Mishota puts, is weeks one through six. Mm-hmm. And I tend to agree with him. When you look at the Cowboys and their schedule for weeks one through six, you open up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Cincinnati Bengals in week two, Giants in week three, Washington week four, week five and six against the Rams and the Eagles, both of those games on the road before then you have games at home against Detroit and Chicago in week seven and eight. But those first six weeks, we're talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a team that just went to the Super Bowl in the Cincinnati Bengals, and oh, by the way, the defending Super Bowl champion, Mm -hmm. Los Angeles Rams. We're going to learn a lot about this Cowboys team within the first six weeks about a lot. if they're a real contender going into the rest of their season schedule after they get done with that stretch, there. we we are going to learn so much about them. Uh, it's you know the, we're going to and also we're also going to learn about the other teams. What's Tampa this year? Are they different? Are they better? Are they worse? Is Cincinnati for real? Can they back up what they did last year? Right. You know, like uh, what about the Rams? Are the Ram? Were the Rams? Because uh, the Ram, the Rams have pretty much proven over the last you know half decade they kind of make the playoffs just about every year anyway. Um, you know, what is, what are the bears? You know, it was, it was an interesting point brought up on the, on the trucker.com text line. The, the, the Jags and the bears could easily be last year's Bengals. Oh, I, oh, that's, that's tough. I mean, the Jags that, could Trevor Lawrence is his second year. I expect them to be much more competent yeah. with Doug Peterson as but their head coach. Nobody had the Bengals being anything this year. Yeah. And here they were, they went to the, they went to the Super Bowl. Why quarterback? It's all it takes. It takes one, it takes one guy. And if you hit on that guy and he becomes the great player, then all of a sudden you're a contender. The Jags certainly could be that team. I don't see the Bears doing. It. I'm not that big on. I'm not as big on Justin Fields. Uh, although I, I, although I do think that he was kind of really hamstrung last year with a with a uh, an awful coaching situation. Uh, the team was, you know, off, outside the offensive line, not a bad roster. It really wasn't a bad roster. Uh, so I could see that. I can see that happen. I don't really see it with, uh, you know, let's see, uh, Houston, uh, Detroit, the Commanders. Uh, I don't see them, you know, Giants, something like that. But, you know, I'm intrigued in a couple of these games. Some of these are going to be true tests. No, they really are. And we'll find out just about not just about the Cowboys through those first six weeks, but also about those other teams as well. This was a question I thought that was posed by him that I thought was really interesting as we go through some of the Cowboys, you know, and possible predictions for them as well for their schedule. The one game the Cowboys can't afford to lose, and I thought it was interesting because in between, when you look at the late portion of their schedule, you go to weeks 13, 14, and 15. They have three consecutive games against the AFC South. They play the Colts at home. They play the Texans at home before going on the road to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars, and then they come home again to take on the Eagles. And then week 17, they play at the Tennessee Titans, and that was the game, Mashota points out, as the game that you can't afford to lose. I'm sorry, back in week 14 is the Texans game. The Titans game comes a few weeks later. The one that they can't afford to lose is the game against the Texans because all signs are pointing as Machado puts out, that the Texans are going to be the worst team in the National Football League. You can't afford to lose to the Houston Texans in Week 14, in my mind. And I think that makes a lot of sense based on what Houston's going to be and what the Cowboys should be at that particular point. A letdown in that game would be catastrophic given what you think this team is going to be going forward in the playoffs. You know, I was I was wondering which is the which one would be the worst loss and the one you can't afford to lose. And um, I, you know, I, I do think it's either Houston or Detroit. I don't think you can afford to lose. Or the Bears. Yeah, or the Bears. Um, You get the Bears and the Lions in back-to-back weeks. You should be able to handle your business against both mm -hmm, of those teams. mm -hmm. Again, Jacksonville. Jacksonville could be something different. You don't know. Trevor Lawrence could turn into Joe Burrow. Um, You know, I don't see... uh, I I see see what you're doing, Chop. I see what you're doing. I feel like you're setting us up for one of your NFL takes for 2000. 
22 uh, I mean, early not, on this offseason. I mean, season. every year you got a team like that. It yeah. comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Why would it not be the team with the quarterback that's supposed to be the generational player? Who finally has what we think is a coach that can help him be better. As Why a would it not be him? Quarterback. I, mean, I, I think it's, it's I like what you're doing, Chuck. I like how you set this up for the NFL. So I like see what you're doing. Um, you know, Indy. You know, what's Indy going to be this year? I love Indianapolis. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I'm not sure how much Matt Ryan has left in the tank. But he's got good enough skill players and a good enough offensive line. And Jonathan Taylor is the best running back in the game right now to think that coupled with the offense that they have and the skill set that they have offensively and the way they play and the defense with Darius Leonard there, I think that's a team that could win 10, 11 games um, in a division that's obviously not great in the AFC South. I think the Colts are going to be really good. This year, I think they'd be a, they'd be a good team. They'd be better than they were last year, obviously. They, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, and they were close last year. You know, they almost got to the postseason with Carson Wentz. Um, and you know, even though Matt Ryan's getting older, or not getting older, is older, has gotten old, he's still probably better than Wentz is. So, I mean, theoretically, same kind of season. It's playoff team.